Turned a little wagon running gear, engine cart, trolley, wagon frame. What would be the color of it? This one designated as an engine cart. Shop built. And we'll put that three horsepower engine, a M, type M. And we'll put that on this cart right here. I cotter washer, cast storm wheel, grease fitting, roller bearing, half inch handle, that one eight square standoff, one eight square tube and 11 gauge for the main frame. Cotter's installed. Pivot, half inch bolt, shoulder tap for the alignment. I think it's three eighths bolts are going through the metal part. Uh, just saying. Mirror Metal, Tennessee. Shop dog Sam. Hey, y'all leave a message there. Comment. Talking about. And not to be left out. How it looks. Once you got it. Welded up. That starts out. For the one and a half horsepower, that metal part there, all the metal stuff you see, except the skids, that comes in a kit. Weld it up, put you some skids on there. Got a nice running gear. Pivots in the front. That's what I'm talking about. Well, on a, just a, all of them past few videos been uploading about this. Well, this one right here going to be destined you would refer to it as a new shop built antique engine flywheel type cart some people refer to them as a trolley you know trucks I think they call them it was a means of making your stationary engine mobile. But, cast iron wheels, roller bearings, I used that Harley Davidson grease wheel bearing type and them wheels right there. I have one inch square tubing, you remember? Cut on an angle. Weld it up. Axles goes all the way through the one inch tubing. It's a little harder to build a cart with a through axle like that for the simple reason is when you make all of those parts individual and you go to assemble um, them, either the cotter is too tight to get in the hole or it's too loose but not enough to require a full thickness shim so 
when you're building these carts, if you have the opportunity, like size material, a couple of plug wells on those stub axles, if you pre-drill the cotter pin hole, make your four pieces short lengths, and then insert them in the tubing with the wheel installed, and then you plug weld them into place so they actually are a good tight fit with, with the correct hardware. Just saying. Now we'll get that international on this card right here. Enough said. Day three. Hey, y'all leave a comment now if you want to. Uh, subscribe even pass it on to a friend. Uh, yeah, for sure. Ah, the front, the swivel end of this cart, you see it's got a hole drilled offset from the center line. That's marked oil. So you can turn your pivot there, squirt your drop of oil in there to oil that turntable mechanism. And also a couple of holes there each side there uh, for a light tie down. Just saying. That's a color of stain. And that's that there satin finish polyurethylene coating. You know, it ain't got that high gloss that looks like plastic in my opinion. And them wheels right there. I done painted them with that silver one-shot letter and enamel. Uh, the metal work itself. Two good wet coats of Rust-Oleum clear handle also. Well, time to get that engine bolted onto this cart here. So... You know, I'm just going to go ahead and set the engine on this cart and mark the holes in place. You know, line it up to where I want it to be. Mark them. Take it back off. Drill through. Let's get that. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and turn that in for grade. You know, I left them holes undrilled in these two skids right here. Uh, a, a good idea up to now that from now on it'll be bespoke to this three horsepower international but several different engines would mount onto this cart and be the appropriate size well as the project so has evolved the way up to this point right here. And the design seems to work out okay. Yeah. You know, just saying. Three horsepower. Type M. International. I have them here in Middle Tennessee. Hey, y'all leave a comment, subscribe if you ain't already did it, pass it on to a friend. Thanks now. Now this design, might as well go ahead and point it out before the comments starts coming in. Not being the original design as length and width type of materials even I'm, the wood I'm talking about uh, the car in general uh, the original as to having extra width to the point that you would have cross pieces for the engine to set on 
rather than sitting on the rails themselves. I'm just bringing that to your attention. And something to make note there in that blank page to that effect. As of the addition of the roller bearings, bearing in each wheel, greased, a non-traditional as original old-time carts were, some of them as cast axle holes. Just saying, something for that blank page there. Hey, y'all leave a comment now. Thank you. Looking at it over this way, a different approach was taken to the steering mechanism, bolster area there. I, I, I would I would claim as sub submitting the car this this car engine this no, the the car it, it, that's only my project Martin did the uh, engine uh, a good job uh, they complement each other so um, yeah uh, to the point of this is where we're at as concerning the car itself is you know it being a kit form type easy to assemble design uh, designed to the point of improving the welding skills of anyone because it's a well together design and once you get it welded together, you end up with something usable. If you have a need for a, for a running gear, metal, I'm just saying. 